Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. It's nearly March. Where on earth has February gone? I swear January was like mega long and never finished and then February's just flown by. I literally don't know where it's gone. Um, but yeah, so nearly March and I am here today with another Lush haul. Um, but today's haul is their Easter products and it is by far my favourite range that they have brought out this year. So out of the Valentine's Day, the Mother's Day and the Easter range, um, Easter is definitely my favourite. So yeah, I'm going to kick start things off with bath bombs and um, we've got a couple of old kind of returning products this range as well which is lovely to see because in the valentine's day and the mother's day products there wasn't really many old products from last year they were predominantly kind of new releases so it is really nice to see a few old products as well because you know you get fond of those products so it's always lovely to see a few come back as well and um, it not being completely new stuff okay so we have got three bath bombs in the easter range so first of all i'll start with this one this is one from last year and it's the which came first bath bomb it's absolutely massive as you can see and it's kind of designed to last you for more than one bath and um, so if you crack it open you kind of get two halves and then there's a little secret inside as well last year it was a little chick and um, there had been little bunnies in there before and i don't know what's in this one because obviously i haven't tried it um, there also were two designs on these ones. I've got the spotty one because I think it's quite pretty, um, but there is also another design as well, so it just depends which one you like, um, but they are both the same scent. So this smells kind of really fresh and uplifting. I really like the smell of this one. It's got um, like lemon and grapefruit in there, but it isn't like a zesty citrus. It's kind of just a really soft, fruity, light scent. Um, I think it's really lovely, it's very spring, um, so yeah I'm really happy that this one is back. It is a little bit more pricey than your normal bath bomb because it is so big. Um, this year it's £6.95 but if you look at the fact that you're getting more than one bath out of it, it kind of works out quite good for many so yeah. Some people are quite indulgent and like to use the whole thing um, but I'm definitely more of a break it up kind of girl. Okay, so this is a new bath bomb for this year and it is called Free Ranger. It's actually called Free Rangers because there are more than one. They come in three different colours, but I presume that it's just Free Ranger for one. I don't know. But anyway, I picked the blue and yellow one because I thought it was absolutely cute. He's absolutely gigantic, this little chicken thing. Um, but they come in three different colours. I think there's like a pink and purpley one and I can't quite remember what the other colour is but they're all super super pretty. And what I love about this bath bomb is you can split it in half like the witch came first so you can use them both together if you wanted to or you've got two separate buffs there as well. Um, I'm a little bit gutted it doesn't have anything inside like it looks like it should have one of those little chickens in there um, but it doesn't. It just comes like this. Um, but it is really really cool again and it is massive. It's really heavy. Um, I was just looking at the price it's uh, 6 95 as well, so it's the same as the Witch came first. Okay, so that's the two new big ones. They're both 6 95 and they're absolutely massive. Um, I quite like the Free Ranger just because they're quite a character and um, they look quite cute as well. Scent-wise, this smells the same as the Comforter Shower Gel. Now, I don't like the Comforter scent. You get the Comforter Bubble Bar as well. Um, it's like a black currant scent. Not a fan of it, but I like it in the Bath Bomb, which is peculiar. So yeah, it just smells really black currenty and lovely and fruity and fresh. Um, so yeah, that's the Free Ranger. The next bath bomb that we've got is this one. This is another new one and this is called April Showers. It is so, so pretty. Um, it's white and then it's got these bright pink and bright purple little raindrops in it. This one smells like violets, but it's a very kind of powdery violet scent it reminds me a lot of the palm of violet sweets that you used to get when you were younger it's got that kind of yeah powdery smell to it it is really really lovely though and very very spring like i've seen a few pictures of this in the water as well and it looks beautiful so i really can't wait to try this one out so that is april showers so next up we have got a naked shower cream. Now Lush seem to be going down this route with all their seasonal products. They seem to only be releasing them in the kind of naked solid format rather than the regular liquid shower gel. Um, which I totally get. It's a brilliant idea when they're getting rid of all the packaging which is awesome. Um, but personally I'm not a fan of the naked shower gels. If you watch my blog um, a lot you'll know that. I keep trying to fall in love with them and I am persevering with them. I love trying them out and I've got nothing against them. 
I just personally prefer a liquid shower gel. I guess some people like them and some people don't. It's a little bit like Marmite. Um, but this one for the Easter range is called Here Comes the Sun. And it smells so, so good. It smells like a really sweet orangey uplifting scent it's meant to smell a little bit like bright side i've heard but i don't really think it's identical i do think it's quite different um it's a lot more sweeter but yes it is so lovely and fresh and it'll be perfect for springtime and um, thinking about it i think one of the reasons i'm not a fan of these naked um shower gels and shower creams is i love to keep a shower gel which i know you're not meant to do i know they're not really meant to be great once they're past their sell by dates and um, but i like to kind of collect them a little bit especially if the ones that just come out at certain times of the year and um, i like to keep them all year long in case they're not released the next year um but with these they kind of go all shrivelly and and they're not really good for keeping and um, once you've got them you kind of need to use them up so that is one of the things that I don't like about these little guys and um, but yeah I'm looking forward to trying this like I've been trying all the other ones I have found that if you cut them up they work a lot a lot better so that is how I use them now I slice them up and then just take a little bit into the shower or the bath at a time so that they don't go all squishy and messy in the shower um so yeah this is the here comes the sun naked shower cream there is only one soap in this year's Easter range which is really weird when you think that in the Mother's Day range there is a ridiculous amount of soaps and in this range there is only one but it is really cute and it is this one it is called the carrot soap and I absolutely love it because it looks like a little carrot the only thing is this scent is very muted and when I say very muted you literally can't smell a thing there's hardly any scent to it so I'm looking forward to seeing that once it hits the water when it's a bit warmer if it's going to evolve a little bit more and you'll be able to smell a little bit more or if it is going to stay this gentle and um, so make sure you keep an eye on my blog which is myluscionsstuff.com I do all kinds of reviews over there on all these products so I will let you know how I find this soap once I use it but scent wise what you can smell is lovely it's got a lot of carrot powder and carrot infusion so carrots kind of its main basis and i really like the carrot scent it's used in one of the easter bubble bars and it is used in the snowman shower jelly from christmas and i really really like it as an ingredient it's just one of my favorite kind of scents and um, but yeah i just kind of wish this was a little stronger i think it would be really nice if it was so i'd be keeping my fingers crossed that it will evolve a little bit more once it hits some water Okay, so the last kind of peculiar product or product that doesn't really fit into a category of lots of other things is this. This is a shampoo bar um, and it is really cute. It looks like a little bunny rabbit. I absolutely love it. Probably not the most practical thing because once you start using it, these are just going to fall off and you're stuck with a little pom pom. Um, but it does look really cute and it'll be lovely as a little Easter present. This is called Wash Behind Your Ears, which is the name of the shower gel from last year. But this doesn't smell the same, which is really confusing. When Lush kind of bring out two products with the same name, you kind of expect them to smell the same, um, and then they don't, and then you get confused. But anyway, this still smells gorgeous. It's very kind of sweet and lemony and citrusy and uplifting and bright and summery. Um, I just absolutely love it. Next, we have got bubble bars, and there are absolutely loads of these bubble bars, which is awesome. I'm loving them this year. So first up, we've got the bunch of carrots. This has been around for a long time now. It seems to have been out for many years, but everyone loves them. And they tend to change the colours, but this year they've kept them the same as last year. There's a neon pink, a lovely purple, and then the orange one. And I love the scent of these. These are one of my favourite Lush scents. Um, this is the one I was talking about that I said had the carrot infusion in there. They're very citrusy, but the carrot just adds a little twist to them that I really, really enjoy. Um, if you've tried the snowman shower jelly from Christmas time, it's the same scent as that. And they are lovely. So they are the bunch of carrots. And obviously you can use them three times or even six times because you could probably use half per bath. So they'll last you <laughs> absolutely ages. The next bubble bar is possibly my favourite item out of the entire range. It's a new one for this year and I absolutely love it. It's called Poisson de Avril, so it's obviously in French. Excuse my pronunciation, I know it's probably horrendous, but it is this really cute little fish. How adorable is this? I absolutely love it. And it smells amazing. So it smells very citrusy but there's this kind of like warming element to it. It's got black pepper and cinnamon in there, which adds like a really interesting twist to it. And I really like it. It smells, it just smells so good. And from the list of ingredients, I was a bit like, mm, not sure if I'm gonna like that, 
but it's amazing you need to go try this one out and he, um, he just looks really cute doesn't he so Lush seem to be bringing out a lot of the bubble spinners. I get that they were really cool and when fidget spinners were around and they were really unique and really quirky, but we just seem to be getting loads of them at the minute. They're going a bit crazy on the whole spinner thing. Um, but anyway, this one's called Seven Deadly Spins and it's the Easter version. Um, mine doesn't spin, it is rock solid on there. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really work as a spinner, but I'm sure the bubble bar bit will work really, really well still. It's very small and I'm not really sure what it's meant to look like. Like, I don't have a clue. It's very, very weird. It's kind of like an egg with some wings, a bit like a golden snitch, but who knows? I haven't got a clue what it's meant to be, but it smells really good. I don't think this scent's been out before. I think it's a new scent to Lush. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys know what this smells like, please let me know. Um, but for me, I haven't really smelled anything like this before. It's quite, citrusy and I kind of get an avo bath kind of idea to it it's kind of got that kind of element um but yes I absolutely love it so that is the seven deadly spins this next one isn't just a normal bubble bar this is a bubble rune I really like bubble runes because they're extremely moisturizing it's two parts sandwiched together with like some butters and things in the middle um so as you can see here here he is he is called the cream egg so two little parts and then it's sandwiched together with all these butters and goodness there which makes it extremely moisturising. Um, again there's more than one design of these so you can pick your favourite, they all smell the same but they just look slightly different. This is very weird, um, I kind of like it, it's, well it just smells like spearmint but to me it just reminds me of toothpaste. So whenever I smell this it just kind of makes me think of toothpaste or chewing gum. Um, but yeah, I guess it will be really kind of fresh in the water um, but it's just peculiar I'm not sure I think it's just because it's so minty um, but I do like it it's just very unusual and it's hard to make you like you have to kind of think oh it's not toothpaste it's a bubble bath but there we go um, so this is the cream egg I've gone for the cute little spotty one um, as I said there are more than one design so you can go pick your favorite one so this next product I've had to leave till last because it is so 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 messy and I'm going to get in such a state when I show you this so I've prepared I have got wipes and I am ready for this so here we go this is the golden egg it was out last year it's been out for several years now everybody seems to love it including me just taking it out of its little wrapper because I've had to keep it in there to stop everything else getting contaminated but here it is and it is very golden and very sparkly if you don't like glitter stay clear because this is ridiculously sparkly it is crazy and um, i just kind of look how gold i am that's just from holding it on my fingertips it is very 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 sparkly i love sparkle i don't mind looking like a disco ball so that is absolutely fine and um, it smells gorgeous as well oh my gosh the glitter's all coming off whoa and um, it has got the honey i wash the kids kind of scent so it's very sweet very honey it kind of reminds me of toffee whenever I smell it I absolutely adore this scent so this golden egg is a bath bomb melt which means it's kind of half bath bomb half bath melt and it is very 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 moisturizing I struggle to use a whole one of these because I find them too greasy so I tend to cut them in half but it's just personal preference and um, so yeah this is the very sparkly very loved golden egg Okay, so that is it for this year's Easter range. There are some absolutely gorgeous products in this range. As I said, it's one of my favourite ranges so far this year, predominantly because it's got all my favourite kind of scents in there. There's a lot of citrus, and I am a huge citrus fan. There's also a lot of sweet things in there as well, which I absolutely love. So I'm really, really excited to try all of these products out. Don't forget, if you want to see what I think of them once I've been using them, make sure you check my blog out, which is mylushandstuff.com, where I will be reviewing all of these products. And if you have enjoyed this video please give me a little thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe to keep up to date with all my other videos that I am doing but that is it for now and I'll see you all next time bye